Good morning and welcome to Convocation 2014. My name is Matthew Conklin. I have the honor of serving as your student body president, and beside me is Brandon Baltzell, your student body vice president. Today, we are gonna be serving as your MCs for convocation. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce our fearless leader, President John Bardot. First Lady. Yeah. Oh, you good? Good. Next, could we please have the beautiful First Lady, Deborah Bardo, please join us at the front. <laughs> Dr. Shirley Lefevre Davis, the Interim Dean of the College of Education. Dr. Clay Stolt, the Interim Associate Dean of the College of Education. Shocker alumnus, Tate Blanton. Hey. Fred Van Fleet. Where's Fred at? Alex Harden. All right. And Katie Riley. Before we begin our official program, I'd like to take care of a couple roundhouse keeping items. As you enter the event, you received a program agenda with tickets. You must keep track of your agenda so that you can receive your t-shirt and lunch after the event. Be sure to stay seated for the whole program. The t-shirts and lunch won't be available until the program is complete, at which time you'll exit the concourse to your right and proceed around the concourse to the t-shirt and lunch tables. So please sit back, relax, and enjoy convocation. At this time, I'd like to celebrate our outstanding Shocker coaches and student athletes. As we recognize our Shocker coaches, will the coach please stand, and any student athletes on the team please stand and be recognized as well. First, we have a team that was NBC champions in 2014, the WSU softball team and coach Christy Breadbenner. Next, we have a team with news worth celebrating. From the baseball team, Casey Gillespie is the 55th All-American in school history and 20th pick of the draft with WSU Baseball. Please recognize the WSU Baseball team. This next team was MVC champions in 2013, made a Sweet 16 appearance in, appearance in 2012. Of course, we're talking about the WSU volleyball team and coach Chris Lamb. This next team in 2014 and 2013 were the regular season and tournament champions, WSU women's basketball and coach Jody Adams. The last team on our list, but by no means the least, undefeated regular season in 2014, MVC champions 2014 and 2012, NIT champions 2011, and a Final Four appearance in 2013, WSU men's basketball and coach Greg Marshall.
I got wrapped up in all the excitement at the beginning. Um, we forgot to recognize another athlete who came to the stage. Um, Daniel Keeley, please rise. <laughs> at this time, we're gonna welcome to the stage Katie Riley from our championship volleyball team, Alex Harden from the championship women's basketball team, and Fred Van Fleet from the championship men's basketball team to share some remarks. Give him a round of applause, please. Touch it. Okay. Hi, I'm Katie Riley. Um, I'm a junior middle here on the volleyball team. Um, this last week we got picked uh, first in our conference to win conference. Um, so all our home games are conference games. And the first game is September 19th. So we would love to see you all there. Go Shocks! Hi, I'm Alex Harden. I'm a senior guard for the women's basketball team. We are going for our third Missouri Valley Cham Championship regular season and conference championship. Our first game is November 2nd. We would love to see you here. Go Shots. Fred Van Vliet, uh, junior this year for the Shockers. Uh, it's looking like it's going to be another great year for us and all these sports as well. Um, volleyball starts before, so make sure all you guys go support um, them and women's basketball as well. Uh, I don't know when our first game is, but I'm sure, I'm sure you guys will figure it out. So we'd love to see everybody there. Uh, go Shocks. I'm Daniel Keeley. I'm a junior outfielder on the baseball team. Um, we start our season in the spring. These guys are all soon, but uh, we'd still like you guys to come out and support us. We've got a bunch of new guys, and I think our first game is home game is uh, February 20th, so come on out and support. Thanks. We want to thank our Shocker athletes, and I have a, a small apology to our basketball players, to whom I did a disservice with the microphone height. Matt and I quite, aren't quite as tall as they are. At this time, we are going to recognize our Shocker sound band that is the musical voice of our Shocker nation, supporting our men's and women's basketball teams, exciting our fans, and providing nonstop game spirit and entertainment. I would like to ask everyone to please stand and join in the singing of our alma mater with the a cappella choir.
step back for this. You know, Brandon, one of the best things about being a shocker is the spirit of our president. As a student, I look forward to working more with President Bardo and getting to know him better throughout the year. Now, the prompt says to share a personal story with President Bardo. I don't know if you guys follow us on Facebook or Twitter, um, but Brandon and I challenged the president and other university executive members to the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. And we're very pleased uh, to be told that that will most likely be happening in the very near future. So check it out online. Everyone, it is my honor to represent President Bardo. Please help me welcome to the podium, Dr. Bardo. Wow. What a great crowd. 1.30 today, we get ice bucketed. Uh, given how hot it is out there, that may actually be okay. How many of you are first-year students or first-time transfers here? Raise your hands. All right. Welcome. Welcome to Wichita State and welcome to being, to being part of Shocker Nation. Uh, this year, our freshman class is uh, going to be, when it all shakes out, 18 to 20 percent larger than it was last year. People are discovering what can happen on this wonderful campus. With our great athletics programs that give us national exposure, with the very high quality of the academic programs that are, are happening all over this campus, and with the ability to increasingly improve the quality of student life, Wichita, place, Wichita State is now the happening place in Kansas and the place to be. And I think our sister schools have noticed that and uh, it, it uh, shakes them up a little bit to have us out there playing at the level we're playing across all areas. You've joined this university at a great time. Uh, I've come back two years ago. I was on the faculty here for 10 years early in my career. And it's wonderful to see this university and this city moving forward. And I hope all of you who aren't from Wichita take advantage of the location where you are. I'd also encourage all of you to step out a little bit and try something different something that you may not have done before. If you've never been to a musical theater production, I'd encourage you to go. <laughs> uh, we really do offer Broadway quality work right here on campus, and it's something that you ought to see. If you've never been to a symphony, if you've never been to an organ recital, you ought to take the opportunity. If you've never been to an art gallery, that the uh, the All Rich on campus is just stunning and something you ought to take opportunity to learn. Take an opportunity also to be involved in clubs and activities on this campus because that's where you'll make your friendships that will last you a lifetime. It's important that you join and take part because what we know is that students who take part tend to do better in class, they tend to graduate, and they tend to have a lifelong relationship with people that they met on the campus. Uh, I met my wife here, and we've been married now 39 years, so uh, it does. Uh, 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 she must be a slow learner. Uh, but, the, but the bottom line is, this is a place that really can make a difference in your life. I'd also encourage you to try some of the athletic events that you may not have been familiar with. If you've never been to a women's volleyball match, it's fast. Uh, it is very strong com competition, and our team usually is ranked in the top 20 or so in the nation and get a large crowd to watch them. So I think you all are going to enjoy the quality of what you see. If you haven't been to softball, it's a fast game. Uh, take an opportunity to be involved in our programs, and my wife and I today are wearing the championship rings from the women's basketball program, and we're really proud of what those women have accomplished both on the floor and in the classroom. They really represent us well. So, so to all of you, welcome to Wichita State. We're so glad you're here. You're here at a time of major change and transition in this university, but it's a time where we are reaching out to the future and we really are becoming the place of innovation for Kansas. And today, you know, like every day, it is really a great day to be a shocker. Thank you.
Another great feature of our university community is our outstanding faculty and staff. Thanks to all of you who have chosen to attend this morning's event, we'd like to recognize a few groups in attendance this morning. Would all of the current and former WSU Shocker faculty stand and wave to be recognized? Now, how about the current and former Shocker staff in attendance? Woo! All right. And where are all of our Shocker alumni? Would you please stand and wave to be recognized? And a special thank you to all of the Convocation volunteers who make this event possible. Would all of the Convocation volunteers please wave? <laughs> At this time, we would like to introduce you to some younger students in attendance today. These fine students currently attend the Child Development Center at WSU and will hopefully be in the class of 2031. Each year, we highlight an academic unit or campus group to showcase their accomplishments. We're excited this year to have a collection from the of the finest from the College of Education. Interim Dean Dr. Shirley Lefevre Davis and Interim Associate Dean Dr. Clay Stoll. They and their special guest speakers will present the fine work done in the College of Education. Please help me welcome to the podium Dr. Shirley Lefevre Davis and Dr. Clay Stoll. Thank you. Hello, everyone. We're very happy to be here today to highlight our college and share some of the experiences from our students and our graduates. In the College of Education, we believe educa experience is everything. So the question of the day is, what do a teacher who testified before Congress, a gold medalist in tennis, a technology entrepreneur, and a TV meteorologist all have in common. From the College of Education. We'd like to share a video with you next that reveals some of the stories of our students and graduates. I'd like to thank Jessica Kraft, Amy Belden and Patrice Hine for the creation of the video. Andrea Belson. I'm a first year teacher at Griffith Elementary. I'll be teaching fourth grade. Um, I just graduated in May with my bachelor's in education from Wichita State University. So this is the first really um, getting to actually use this and see um, what it's really like to be out in the working world with these students. Hi, my name is Sam Schaefer and I'm a student in sport management here at WSU. And my ultimate career goal would be to be the athletic director here at WSU. Patrice Duncan, 2011 graduate of the College of Education and Classroom Teacher in USD 259, traveled to Washington, D.C., where she briefed Congress on effective elements of teacher preparation programs.
Number one ranked David Wagner and doubles partner Nick Taylor have won Paralympic gold twice in the quadriplegic division. They were instrumental in bringing the quad division to the U.S. Open in 2007. They'll try to defend their Grand Slam title when wheelchair tennis returns to the Open this year. To be a Grand Slam champion is, is a great notch to have. I'll give you just three pieces of advice that I've learned from my journey. Don't worry about where you're headed in life. Follow your interest, do what you love with enthusiasm, and what you are meant to do will find you. I can't emphasize this enough. Life is built on experiences, so collect them with a recklessness. Learn more about pottery, golf, history, it doesn't matter. Follow your passions, and your passions will shine through. Hi, I'm Jalisa Bonswell, and I graduated last spring with a degree in sports management. I am now working here in Miami, Florida at Sun Life Stadium as a catering coordinator for Center Play Catering. I work all events from Dolphins games to UM games to other corporate events taking place here at the stadium. My name is Blake Smith. I'm a meteorologist at Cake TV, and thanks to transition to teaching at Wichita State, I'm also an earth science and meteorology teacher at May South High School. Yeah, great stuff. Well, hopefully you see that the College of Education offers a diverse set of programs to prepare students for a wide range of careers. At this time, we'd like for you to hear from a few of our students. So please welcome Katherine Clunder and Lydia Newquist. My name is Katherine Clunder. I'm a senior majoring in elementary education. And I'm Lydia Newquist, a sophomore majoring in secondary math education. And we are both a part of the College of Education. In the College of Education, our learning goes beyond the classroom. The moment you enter the program, you have multiple opportunities to get classroom experience semesters before you student teach. One of my favorite moments was when my professor, Sandra Podmanabin, took my intro to the profession class to Kansas City to work with at-risk youth in the area with spelling lessons. I was blown away that this was just an introductory course because I couldn't imagine it getting any better than this. And like Lydia, I had a professor that made my learning come to life. My math instructor, Sandy Peer, brought her keyboard to class, yeah, go Sandy, brought her keyboard to class one day to sing and play a song about a math concept. She wanted us to truly understand what she was teaching, but made learning it an absolute blast. And I know that she has deeply impacted my life because I use many of the techniques and tips she taught with the students I work with today. Based on the experiences Catherine and I have had, it's clear that the College of Education goes above and beyond to not only show us how to teach, but also to equip us with the experiences um, and passion that it takes us, or gives us to make a passion and a change in children's lives. As a senior, I could not be more excited to go teach and start my own classroom. And now, let me introduce my good friend, Kelsey. I guess I'm a little taller. Thanks, girls. Hi guys, my name's Kelsey Jacobs. I received my bachelor's degree in exercise science and pre-physical therapy this last May. Exercise science is within the Human Performance Studies Department, or HPS, which also includes athletic training and physical education. These degrees can lead to careers in athletic training, physical therapy, 
exercise physiology, rehabilitation, and physical education. I enjoyed the program because of the awesome faculty who do a great job of teaching and sharing their experiences. We also have a new HPS lab, which is fun because it's a very interactive learning environment. Anyone majoring in these areas gets the benefit of doing an internship, which helps you get real life experience. As of the summer, I am currently working on my master's degree in sport management. Within this program, students prepare for careers in professional sport, college athletics, recreational sport, and sporting goods organization. A benefit of this program is connecting with alumni all over the world who are working in sports organizations. Through my experiences in these two programs, I feel that I have gained a well-rounded education. With a background in exercise science, I was able to learn the scientific aspect of sport. And now with sport management, I am learning the business side of sport. If you are interested in a career in sport or exercise related fields, I would recommend that you check out these programs in the College of Education. Thank you. And now I'd like to welcome back the deans. Thank you. Just as our college offers a wide array of degree programs, we also have opportunities for students to get involved in student organizations, research opportunities, and a wide variety of activities. We hope that each of those opportunities prepare you to, to change the lives of others. If you'd like more information about any of the experiences that you've seen or heard about today, please contact any of us in the light blue College of Education shirts. We'd love to visit with you. Best wishes for a great year, everybody. Thank you all for those very insightful messages this morning. This is just one example of a reason we should all be proud to be Wichita State Shockers. Thank you to the cheer and dance teams for joining us this morning. Um, we're going to move into our alumnus speaker. A part of our collegiate experience at Wichita State includes the legacy we leave on campus after graduation. Here to talk about his experience um, as a shocker, as someone who made a choice to give back to this great university. Please welcome a fellow shocker and a fellow Winfield High School Viking, Tate Blanton. Nonetheless, I'm honored to uh, sit here today and speak to you guys on the opportunities uh, and involvement here on campus. Uh, I'm excited to see the faces who came to support WSU, to support their organizations. I'm excited to see faces out here new who this is their first convocation. Uh, and I'm excited to see all of you who came for the free pizza. Because um, let's be honest, that's why some of us are here. That's why I'm here. So, um, Most of the time, people include quotes or poems or something into their uh, speeches. Um, when they talk in front of a lot of people, and I was told not to read a poem. Um, so instead, uh, instead I chose lyrics from a famous music musician that most of you may know. Um, he was pretty popular back in the 90s. He might still be cool today. I don't know if anyone knows Eminem or not. Well, I had to stand up here and talk to you guys about something, so I looked for some reference from Eminem to help me out today. And he said in one of his famous songs, you better lose yourself in the music, the moment. You own it. You better never let it go. You only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. This is an opportunity. It comes once in a lifetime. Yo. <laughs> so with that inspiration behind, I started to think about my experience as a shocker and really take the time to reflect on everything I did while I was here. Um, of course, I attended for the classes, and that was my top priority, so I went to them most of the time. But the other time was filled with campus involvement in organizations and societies that I wanted to be a part of, to get involved. I wanted to make WSU my home. So I joined a plethora of organizations, such as, not to name all of them, but Honor Societies, Shockers Forever, no Shockers Forevers, 
Okay, fine. And my fraternity, Sigma Alpha Epsilon. What I learned most from my opportunities and my involvement was to have fun, sorry, this mic doesn't move with me, was to have fun and balance my life with the opportunities that I was given. We can often get bogged down with work, school, and other obligations, and we lose the time and we lose the energy to give back to the things that really create joy inside ourselves. I remember being part of philanthropic events that gave back to the community, helping brothers and sisters, or raising over $50,000 for Children's Miracle Network being a part of Shockerthon. I was a part of campus events that created social and student engagement, such as mud events, song fests, or hippodrome. But most of all, I always remembered that I had to have fun doing these things. I also developed many friendships and networked with a ton of different students, professors, and colleagues while I was here. Contacts I made both professionally and personally helped me to grow and diversify myself in my career and my life. Friends who helped me get my jobs, my first job and my second job, all came from networking here at WSU in my volunteer groups. <laughs> Those connections from the campus led to professional opportunities for me. Now these connections are my boss or my boss's boss, and now they pay me to do the work that I was doing for free. It's nice. Not all of us will make six figures as soon as we get out of college. Some of you will. Great for you guys. I'm not lucky enough to be one of those yet. Some of you engineering majors out there are going to blow me away. Being involved on campus will help you establish connections and friendships, and they will long outlast your time here at WSU. But don't forget about the memories you make while you're here. Remember to take part of your experience in college. Part of that is enjoying is enjoying it and doing more than just showing up to class when you feel like it. College is a time to grow, a time to learn from your, both your classes and your mistakes. But most of all, a time to take action. As Eminem most delicately put, this is your moment, your opportunity. Make the most of it, leave WSU a better place than when you found it, and always continue to be a thinker, doer, mover, and shocker. Thank you. All right, before we get to the flag competition, I'd like to recognize the president of the Student Ambassador Society, Catherine Clunder. Hey, Catherine. <laughs> All right. Yep, thank you. By now, I'm sure you've recognized all the flags right behind us that have been decorated by student organizations placed on the arena floor. We would like to thank student involvement staff for coordinating the competition, and we would like to announce the winners of the flag competition. Will the top three representatives please come forward, stand by your flag. As the organization's name is read, please come up and receive your certificate. In third place, we have Tate's fraternity, Sigma Alpha Epsilon. In second place, the 2017 DPT Student Association. And in first place, the winner of the Convocation 2014 Flag Competition, Shockers Forever. It is now time to officially close Convocation 2014. Thank you all very much for coming out to celebrate our tradition. Please stick around for lunch. We have seating outside. When you exit, head to the right for t-shirts and pizza. Have a good day. Cheers. <laughs>